Graffiti gone wild, a stockpile of stolen shopping carts, and what residents call a rising threat from crime. Tonight, people who live in Midvale Park are telling the city manager they've had enough. Maggie Vespa is there to begin our Not In Your Side public safety team coverage. Guy, that's right. Residents here say for a while things were calm, crime was dropping, but in the last several weeks they say they've noticed once again a spike in graffiti, a spike in abandoned shopping carts, even an officer involved shooting. So tonight here at Grijalva Elementary, as you can see on the marquee behind me, they put the city manager on the spot demanding help us get back on track. There's been graffiti, there's been potholes, there's been uh, shopping cart issues. And in the fight against these problems, Midvale Park has proved successful, maybe too successful, says Neighborhood Association President Joe Miller. We were getting lights on Midvale Park Road, but we're, quite honestly, we've been waiting over seven years to get lights on Oak Tree. And, you know, you go to Sunnyside, there's lights on every little road there is. Miller worries Midvale's past success is hurting its future prospects when compared against rougher neighborhoods. So tonight, he invited Tucson City Manager Richard Miranda, as well as representatives from police and fire, to weigh in on how Midvale can get its fair piece of the city's budgetary pie. Some of the, the new normals are out there in terms of response times and what's available because um, the economics of the situations with government and the police department being uh, uh, somewhat short of staff and how we respond to situations is somewhat different. Miranda's advice, essentially, keep doing what you're doing. Report crime, communicate with police, and watch out for each other. Still, Miller hopes those in power keep their visit in mind. The sign enforcement isn't happening. Code enforcement isn't happening. You, 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 can't, you can't rely on us to tell you every little thing. You see it yourself. Now, the city manager also reminded residents of just how much progress they've made. Thanks in part to their efforts, the city recently formed a shopping cart task force to help tackle that problem on a larger scale. Guy? Uh, now, Maggie, we've also been following their fight when it comes to graffiti, and I hear we have some updates on that as well. Guy, we do. Last month, we reported that police had arrested a well-known tagger known as Neon. He's just 13 years old, and they tell us tonight he has since pled guilty to criminal damage of property, and that guy is a Class 5 felony. All right. Thank you.